Hey there, lads and lasses. We're here with Friar Renu. We're gonna carry on this hardcore thing, and we're gonna go do the uh, this whole storyline, this uh, whole bit where we go into the catacombs, and there's a ghost, and it was actually the Pope was evil the whole time kind of situation. If you get what I'm saying, there's a ghost involved. So you wanna you wanna go left here, and you'll come over here into this funny little gate right there. And there's the sanctuary, and we're gonna go in there on the good one, on the good difficulty, the elite one, because we want to get that big favor reward. I'm gonna summon your boy, old uh, Malin, I think he's we're still on. Yep. And he's like a good guy. You wanna? Oh look, it's handwritten, so mysterious, so brave. Okay, uh, Malin, what the? F what did you shoot? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty quiet. Here's the silver flame guard. He's dead. Yet the smell of blood hangs thick in the air. This oh, it's locked. Oh no. This is also barred. It doesn't look like you can get through. Best to search elsewhere. Yeah, so you wanna come over here and then go right over here. Blood and bodies are everywhere. Man, this narrator's louder than usual, isn't he? As are breath, you hear the telltale scuttling of spiders. Unpleasantly large. They're, like, not as big as we've seen. We've seen bigger spiders. Now, those are some big spiders. So, basically, you gotta just make your way to the end. You're not really, like, too interested in all these funny side rooms or nothing. Because here at the end, there's this lever. Near this rattle of a port echoes from the passage behind you and that'll open the other gate right at the beginning and then yeah we're gonna we're gonna go get involved with that other gate real quick no problem it's gonna be this one there are more signs of bloodshed in the north oh, there's so much bloodshed something else the faint the smell of corruption grows stronger. The dead here are days old. Were these poor souls so isolated that their deaths went unnoticed for so long? Apparently. So apparently these guys have been dead there for a while. Lousing up the place. I guess it's the other side. It's uh, left back there. That's just where the little rest shrine is. Yeah, you want to pull that, that thing right there. Remember to keep your, your funny buffs up, you don't want to get caught off guard. Yeah, you read the note, and then he says, like, a slur or something, and that's pretty bad. And a little funny little chest, and then we just leave. If you have Dimension Door, uh, oh fuck. <laughs> if you have Dimension Door, you can, uh, just teleport out of here. Which is pretty neat. Teleport back to the beginning. That zombie had a lightning bolt move. <laughs> See that? That was pretty wacky. Curious remnants. Always good. We'll trade them in for like a whistle. And there we go, that's the that's the whole thing that we just uh, get out of there, and we go to the next one. I think we go talk to, to to a wizard or something. Oh, we go back outside this place, we leave, and we're like, hey, your boy, uh, you got some issues there with your, uh, with some zombies and some notes. They're like, hey, friar, alright, I'll go talk to the archbishop, don't you whiz -waz? And then we go talk to the archbishop. And we don't whiz -waz. The archbishop is up here. He's like the he's like the grand pope, the grand wizard of their organization, if you will. You know, as to draw like a comparison. Going on a leak for the big favor reward. This is like a no fight, nothing mission. You just go in and talk to a guy and then leave. The so boom, Archbishop Dryden. Hey, was good. It's been invaded. All right, I'll go fix it. And boom, that big zero XB. That's the good one. And then we leave. That's pretty good. And then that does give us the next quest that we have to go down for. 
do go down this way and go back into the same one we just said. But this time we're exploring a different place in it. Yeah, now we're gonna summon Molin. I want to check the north ward today. That way. But it's locked. They have battered these doors relentlessly. You might be able to open them now using the master key. Oh yeah? What master key? What is he saying? We don't have a master key. Yeah, we have to go get it. That's what we're saying. <laughs> uh, it's probably this way. It usually is. Something strange ahead. The blood oh, yeah? on the floor seem to go through the wall on the right. You have found a secret room. This must be where well, that shit's trapped. Kept his keys. Is it really? Body lies on the floor. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, I really don't like it. All right. Do you have anything? Yeah, sure. Ah, it's just fucking spikes. You're fine. Don't even whiz -waz about that trap. Just, just do what I did. Like, be, just edge it, you know? Whatever. Worrying for nothing. Give you guys heart attacks for no reason. But yeah, use that key on this door. And then we check the, uh, this one. Is it really? To check the courtyard below. Ghost? Shadow! Shadow's kind of spooky. Huge damage against uh, the shadow there. Faint voice echoes down the hall. Oh, yeah? Chanting a prayer. Handwritten note. No Funny. Beyond your light, with sword in hand, your soldiers stand. Oh, silver flame, burn ever bright. All right, uh, that's the bishop's daughter. Oh, so you're saying the bishop's daughter is a spooky ghost? All right, uh, something, something. And he was a werewolf the whole time. He goes a roo, like Nixon in Futurama, or in real life, if you were there for that. I don't think I was around for that, so I can't really confirm or deny that. That one. Funny magnetic orb. Fantastic. Alright, so, apparently, it was the bishop's daughter the whole time. She's a spooky ghost, and or is possessed by a spooky ghost. So, that's that's bad, right? I think? Yeah, I think so. So, uh, yeah, now we gotta go let them know that it's, uh, they're in, they're in bad sorts. Okay, you guys aren't gonna believe this. There is a ghost. Oh. Yet, from the south, you hear another portcullis clatter open. But not that one. Uh, that one? So do we go, like, this way and open it? Yeah. You come use the master key or whatever on that door, and then we go this way. South wing. This way you hear the rattle of iron and low metallic ground. Oh, funny defenders. I'm sure there's a bunch behind me, but you know. <laughs> Just have him chase you, it's fine. We're doing it, we're getting through him. You hear a voice call out in the distance, echoing through the now empty hall. It's me, your boy Bishop. Oh, it's Bishop Greylight. I, I pray someone here still lives, and I await you at the entrance. Hey, I'm on my way. It's open now. What's up, Greylight? 
Oh, there was a ghost involved? Alright, I'll take those, I guess. Why not? Then we leave out of here. Uh, so the next thing is, uh, just you just go over here. Is you go into the old archives. So we gotta... They're all gonna be hidden. But they're all gonna be hidden in quite an easy manner. So it shouldn't... It's not too bad. The, the, you go through the library and you look for funny, funny memes. And it should be fine. It's not too bad. However, um, this guy takes fucking forever to until open a door. Because he needs to open this one or something. Or maybe he opens that one. He's gonna take forever opening that door. Get on with it. Yeah, we get it. They're hidden away. And they'll have funny memes above the bookshelves where they're hidden. I'll show you that when we're actually there, so you can see and get a visual of what they look like. There we go. Alright. There's ghosts. <laughs> he died so fast. That's so sad. Guillaume, did you have to die? I thought he said the body of an acrobat. And I was very confused. I'm mean, like, is he spinning around the bookshelves and such? Well, I like to do a sweep of the bottom floor, you know, before we move on. Okay, so there's that one. It's all mostly dead. Point. Am I not shooting through my boy? Is that why? Do I need a feat for that? I think so. I thought it was only for arrows that I need the feet for. So, I'm pretty sure there is one on the first floor, so I'll just work this other way. Uh, quite quickly. Someone cries out in the distance. Stay back! No! No! So save the day. I think it was that zombie. Okay, so it looks like they're not on the first floor. We'll go up. We'll have a look around. Be looking kind of guy. Your boy to come, come with. You come with guy. Now this is looking promising. This general area. There it is. Okay, so this is what you're looking for. You're looking for these memes right here. They're gonna be above the parts where you're gonna have to collect the memes. Okay, so this is like the last one we get. So we have to come back for this one. So remember that that's there. That'll be important later, but now we know to just check the upper floors From here forward And just keeping your eye out for those funny big circles on the side of the walls What? Probably nothing Maybe that way I think it's the real one You hear a chittering sound from behind the shell Anything it has to do with the spiders? Probably. Yeah, there's the next big circle. Alright, so here... I see you. There we go. Everyone got temporary hit points. So you want to take the funny hammer thing, you want to take the book, which is the main mission objective. Yeah, that's, that's, that's probably right. He probably knows what he's talking about. The jump spell is a treat. Ouch. I 
I think this is just like a little rest zone. Yeah. So that'll just be a little rest zone there. Then we're gonna come down here. There it is. There's the last one. The symbol of the secret flame is engraved on the arch overhead. You must be near one of the secret compartments. A faint breeze rustles the pages of the book. Oh shit. That is. I have killed quite a few things, yeah. A faint voice whispers. They brought the flame here. A spark kept alive as it traveled over the sea. It's pretty silly. Casts a shadow. I mean, by definition, I guess. <laughs> you also got the same idea. Uh, yeah, so I think go over here and um, make our way down this way. Yeah. We're gonna go put those two things in the slots and then uh, collect our reward. How did we not kill you on the way? We, we walked past there. How did that happen? Again? Here, here. A painful whisper. See, there's a trap there. <laughs> Close one. I'm leaving. I'm not testing that trap again. Oh, we just talked to Greylight. There you go. Let's get out of here. Easy. Uh, then we gotta go somewhere else. We gotta go like deep into the into the funny catacombs, into the silly old catacombs. The Dryden family tomb. Go we'll get involved. Ah, oh, this one's like you go, you touch a circle, and this is great. Everyone loves it. This is one where you run around in a big circle. I hope so. Oh, absolutely. There's something alive down here. At least not as dead. What's fun is I think most of these uh, sarcophagi, when you break them, will make a boy. Yeah. Ooh, honey, arcane skeletons. You hear a clatter. There we go. Hallway. The sapphire gate is open. How's this one? And then we keep going. You hear scratching sounds. Oh, that's a bunch of ghouls. Like ragged nails against stone. I think this is locked. Yeah. We'll get there when we get there. Mullen, you're such a good tank. Keep it up. The Emerald Gate is shut. You will have to find a way to raise it. And you do that, but can you figure it out? You go through the door and then you it unlocks the thing. Cool. Got webbed. Okay, boy. God damn it. <laughs> Keep accidentally breaking them. Not very arachnophobia of me. The Emerald Gate is open. The spice sound from Gerard's tomb grows louder. 
I don't get the Iron Defender motif in the Undead uh, level, you know? I feel like it doesn't fit. It was just one guy. <laughs> that one guy caused all that, all those explosions of the funny sarcophagus. Uh, you know what they say about sarcophagus? Where you want to put it? Oh, she was lost at sea. That's so sad. <laughs> Buried at sea. Fire boy. Getting through him. Basically, there, look, there's just the red ones left. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Did we win? I think so. Ah, oh, no mystery fragments. What is this? The amethyst gate is shut. You will have to find a way to raise a black upon the floor reads Sheras Dryden, guard captain and friend of the holy flame. That'd be kind of fun to have, like, friend of a multi-billion dollar company or something. Imagine, like, you get your tombstone buried, and it's like, ah, oh, Nardo, friend of Pepsi. That's basically what that guy was about. Alright, so we get the, the funny note and a little box. Boom. Yep. Okay. Here's a thing. This will be relevant for the thing. So that lets us get in there, I believe. Remnants. Oh yeah. Alright, and then this- Oh, I'm too- I'm, I'm such a weak little boy! Mullen, can you pull that for me? Yeah, my strength is too low to use it. Mullen's big strong though, so he's okay. I think I can use this now? Yeah, because I have the key. The oh, fuck. The the what I believe I have to do now is go around it again. From the direction of Gerard's tomb. Uh, I have to go around the whole thing again and unlock all those little lights right there. Here we go again. We're gonna go do a run now. This is gonna take a while. He's, he's going. Am I even. Like, is it worth speeding this up? Nah, you guys, you, guys, you guys can come along with me. I'll tell you a tale about a, a boy and his skeleton. Basically, there was a skeleton inside a boy, and he realized there's a skeleton inside all of us. I changed them. Like for the good. Ah, asshole. <laughs> I was hoping to sneak one by them. One more. I think. Unless there's more. Mm, looks like there might be two more. So terrifying. That one's locked forever. Little bloodstone. That's what I call my kidney stones. Oh fuck, that's a lot of uh, damage. Okay, fun. Dryden, 
We'll do a fire resistance before going into the main room. There we go. It's all good. Fire. Is this some ice? Maybe they do a snowball swarm or something silly. Mullen, come. Mullen, get your ass over here, Mullen. Three sunstones are mounted above the gates oh, shit. of Gerard Dryden's tomb. The shadow is in the tomb. Oh, fuck, I'm paralyzed. It's all gone. Mullen. How ravenous is this school? Fucking pretty ravenous. That was not the last school. What are you talking about? Fuck, that could have been bad. All right, so like, keep your distance on that one. Those ghouls have a paralyzing claw attack because you know that that's what all ghouls have. But apparently their DCs are pretty all right for that one. So you wanna you wanna avoid getting hit there. <laughs> that was a bit spicy. But once you go into the middle, there's gonna be a bunch of ghouls. Maybe maybe you wanna play this one on hard instead. A plaque on the floor reads Gerard Dryden. The doomed bishop. May the darkness lift from thy rest. The problem is it's uh it's e the sarcophagus is empty, I think is the main problem. Uh count the yep, I hope you're in the pile. By the ghouls makes it impossible to tell if Gerard Dryden's oh, hey, is still here. All you can do now is report your findings. As if on cue, Bishop Greylight enters the room. Yeah, it doesn't seem suspicious. <laughs> uh, let's get out of here. Alright, and the next mission is right here in the lower cathedral. I'm gonna get in there and elite. You know, always be risky for the biscuit, except when you don't want to be. I'm gonna do a bit of a summoning. And do fire resistance, and I recommend you do the same for this one as a tree. Yeah, so when we want to go to. Yeah, let's go turn that off. Okay, so here, traps, traps. Okay, so traps on the right, traps on the left. Bad, sad times. Bad, sad times, like I was saying. You got the jump spell, you're fine. You can just jump right over. Boom. See? Cleared it. No problem, no, no need to deal with those silly traps. Now this bit, you gotta, you just gotta fight them off. Yeah, there's just like goo. Linger at the edges of the room. You gotta go to each of the other sides and clear the goo off of each uh, each thing. Alright, so this, each one is gonna release a hellhound, I believe. Or apparently a ghost. I thought it was hellhounds. Alright, go on, Mullen. No, it's fucking not blocked, Mullen. Go pull the damn lever. Pull the lever. All right, you see that lever? See that lever, Mullen? Good boy. Go get it. All right, fuck off. Fine. You hear a click <laughs> from the nearby. Just want him to do it. Is that so? Is that so wrong? And there's a ghost. Make sure we top up. Shuddering and groaning, the bars in front of the fane of the winged swords are etched in the arch. The altar of the winged serpent stands before you. You have to destroy its guardian before you can purify the white collapses, and the shadow surrounding the altar vanishes. Oh, good. The altar can now be rekindled. Then we turn it on, but little spiders pop in when you turn on. 
like a soft sigh fills the chair. Apparently not. I, I could have sworn. I don't remember the little spider popping in. Yeah, that's one. You gotta do that like three times or something. It's pretty. It's pretty silly. You still gotta make your way through the traps. And bits. Oh no, you already did that. Yeah, I'm drunk. Uh, we'll go left here. Oh, it bounced off the pot and hit the zombies. Oh, these are easy. Okay, so what you do here is uh, you tell them all to chill. And then uh, you just wait. And you just wait over here, see? And then they can't hit you in the corner. You hear a clang from a nearby port. You let you let them go. Oh, does it? It turns it off. It even turns it off once you hit the lever. But yeah, you wait. You let it go. Give it one more try just to make sure. And then you just get get in there. To the end. Then you pull it. And then you leave. And that's it. That one's an easy one. Just don't get hit by that. <laughs> just time it right. You'll have to destroy its guardian before you can purify it. Without there we go. Guardian, the shadow over this shrine vanishes. We can leave. You can go to the next one. Relight the flame. So sneaky. All right, then we go here. Last one. Okay, so I think this one is 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 tricksy. No, it's not. It's it's pretty straightforward. All right, you don't want to break that vase if you if you lack some jump skill because that vase could be helpful. I I don't like jump skill because I have the funny spell, so I'm just gonna jump up here and pull the levers. See that turns off those traps, and I think this turns off these traps. Oh, and uh, yeah, then I'm just gonna jump over there and then tell my boy to come with. Words are etched in the archway. Cool, cool, cool. Shrug clattering like old. The altar of the avenging maiden stands before you. You will have to destroy its guardian before you can purify it. Oh, I hope he doesn't put a circle on my. Oh, fuck. I'm stunned. It's all gone. I'm gonna die. I'm fine. I only took a little bit of fire damage. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was all gone. There's a little dude here. You hear cries of fury from the central vault. The main altar's guardians have awakened. All right, we gotta go kill the main guys now. That shouldn't be too bad. All right, we're gonna take a, a bit of fire resistance as a treat because you know, unlucky. A bit of cold resistance because you know, undead they do cold things, right? Like that's a, a meme they do. What the fuck is happening here? Where did you come from? We were standing there for like 10 minutes. How did you not spawn before that? Okay, we're just gonna do an easy jump over. You're with us, right? I'm all in with us. <laughs> the bouncy kind of guy. You have vanquished the last of that was easy. The dead. The way is now open. And we just turned this one. As you ignite the last shrine, no, no, we did it. Sense of warmth and welcome. It's all fixed. No more undead in the catacombs. They shouldn't be in here. Yeah, now we go. Now we're gonna go into the the crypt for realsies now. The big boy crypt. Uh, back in we go. This time, the Patriarch's Crypt. Bada, bada bing. Alright, let's, uh, let's get the boy. Get the boy out. I'm going to be, be ready and, uh, angry. Fire, why not? Give yourself some temporary hit points. Uh... Is it is it not that way? What was this? 
Or is that where we came from? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'm sure if we just go like forward generally, we'll figure it out. Oh, we're back. It was just a little pack of uh, boys. You can kill them easy enough. Ah, so this this looks safe, right? So what you want to do is you want to do that. You want to make sure everyone got the feather fall on. And then the second anyone touches the floor, it's all gone. I, it might actually be on the second one. They might all have a... Uh, Word restored. Patriarch of Stormreach. Someone has covered this stone in blood, disrupting its ward. Second Patriarch. So all of Stormreach. So like the they're like the founders. This is like a Mount Rushmore type situation. This is so you'd find the same thing behind Mount Rushmore essentially. You'd find all of our old boys over there. Oh, these undead are claiming squatters' rights, and we can't have any of that. Because squatters' rights is just a silly concept, and uh, it seems silly. <laughs> Who recognizes squatters' rights? Before you stands the sarcophagus of Cardinal Hengri. Oh, Hengi. of Stormreach. It's been soaked in fresh blood. I can love Hengi. He was the best one. He's the guy that invented the light bulb and he did the thing with the kite and the iron key and then electrocuted himself. That was him. Whisper from the darkness. It is the time of the Don't give me Lord of the Rings speeches. I think we got them all. Before you stands the sarcophagus of Cardinal y the ward on the third sarcophagus. All right, now you want to be ready. Oh shit, that scared me. I didn't even. I wasn't even on it. <laughs> but we do have to go down there. The floor. It doesn't look like you'll be able to get back to the room above from here. Gotta mess up some shadows. Fine enough. Nothing too bad there. Ooh, I think I saw a boy. Clank of armor, hey? I guess I saw a ghost there. Now I'll do it. Terrible stirs ahead near the sarcophagus of Cardinal Bravon. First, take the white ball, and the spell surrounding the sarcophagus dissipates. Yeah, it's all. I'm gonna take this fun chest just before we uh, make a run for it. So th this this next section is pretty dangerous, actually. I'm gonna be honest. With you. It's a little, little spicy. You're gonna grab it, and then we speak with Marguerite, and then she's like, "I've been looking everywhere for you," and then we fucking fucking book it because he can't kill the thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty bad, I'll be honest. Her body is absorbed into the shadowy form, which is looking more solid. Oh shit. Yeah, you wanna go this way. <laughs> oh, it might not have been this way. <laughs> I think I fucked up. Yeah, he's coming. So basically, you wanna run away. Yeah, we might be going the right way. Looks almost real. Nah, this is definitely the wrong way. <laughs> Is he really? Can we kill you? We can't kill you. Kind of, kind of hard to tell. I mean, he's losing health. Maybe Mullen just kills him. <laughs> he just died. He just died. Oh, I guess you can just kill him. <laughs> I thought it was like a, a guaranteed kill you thing. But uh, I guess you go this way because I guess, it wasn't open the second I started running, so I was very spooked, you know. And started running, but yeah, you just go this way. The altar lies beyond the gates ahead of you. Sucker is at hand. Yeah, I feel like a bit of a sucker right now. You know what I'm saying? All right, Mullen, you will protect me. It was fire. Okay, so you just want to like... 
be as far away from the thing as you can be. Yeah, there you go. Okay, easy. And you just uh, make your way out. You're done. Apparently you'll be getting chased by like some kind of funny demon this whole time, or you could just kill him apparently. I didn't realize that was an option. <laughs> Pretty sure it wasn't at some point. And there you go. Boom. Made it to the thing. You're done! You're finished! Get out of here, you silly demons! Didn't realize you can just get shot at, now could you? Did you? Didn't, didn't realize that, no. No, they did not. But yeah, um, I guess that'd be my recommendation, just kill the guy. <laughs> uh, right here. And, uh, is it over there? No, I think it's up. I'm gonna go up more. Is it over there? We can just check that. Yeah, I think uh, I think we do want to go all the way up to Dryden's chamber. I think that's the move. We gotta be like, hey, your boy, Archbishop, Mr. King High Wizard, uh, there's been a demon. And it's a bad one. So yeah, that's that's basically what we gotta do. Hey, Archbishop. Yeah, she was possessed by some kind of demon. I'll take the funny shoes. Alright, now we gotta go take her out. Not really. It's like a weird one. There's a whole morality thing with it. Or something. It's like, ah, oh, no, don't kill her. It's um it's bad. She's just she didn't mean to get possessed. She's a bad one. But like, she's possessed. But then it turns out someone was a bad guy the whole time, and it's like a whole meme and a half, you know? Alright, end game. Marguerite. Okay, and then we are going to summon your boy. You ready? You ready, Mullen? You ready to kill some undead? Here, I'll give you one, two. We'll take the fire protection because, you know, some of them cast like Scorching Ray, as we saw. But Marguerite, what's up? Hold on a minute. All right, this is how you think. Oh, dead duality man, go on. All right, all right, I'm gonna hit up until you're done. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you can set a button to automatically pick the first option of the uh, dialogue things. It's in like one of the UI things. So that's, that's pretty handy when they got like long dialogue like that and you want to skip through it. They are, they are some scully boys. But basically it's like, uh, it's three floor things here and you just gotta kill all the boys that come at you before moving on to the next one. It's a very Castle Crashers-esque, uh, like, level, this one is. Fuck yeah, Mysterious Remnants. Oh shit. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm not one for, for a ghoulin. Who shoot an arrows? It's not Mullen. Mullen doesn't believe in arrows. It's against his religion or something. Right, Mullen? Is, is that human? That's so small. It's like a halfling zombie. It has to be. You're just a very particularly short human. You know humans can be very short in real life. It's pretty. It's pretty fucking wacky. Ooh, a real proper skeleton. Is that enough? No. Nah, it looks like we're gonna have another another group of boys come in. Is that good? You win? No? Oh, get out of that. Sometimes you gotta do little jumps. Little jumps help a lot, I think. Mr. 
mysterious remnants. There we go. Malon, you're doing great here. Have some temporary hit points. Funny ghouls. So many, so many of these barriers. But yeah, it's a very straightforward mission. There are just enemies. You'll get sick of it eventually. If not already. Ah, but seeing seeing the funny blast to like, jump around all the bat all the dudes, pretty funny. Last one. Get a Mullen. Ghost. Are we winning? Fuck, he tricked me. Funny skeleton boys. Something's happening up there. Oh, he's healing them because, you know, anti life or whatever. Mm, negative energy sphere thing. I don't know. Uh, you let the girl live. Look out behind you. It's a ghost. Yeah, no, I know. He's, 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 a, he's the homie. Like, what? No, he's not the homie. He's a demon. Yeah, what if I jumped backwards and shot? Right, let's go get involved with these ghosts. Did we kill all these? Mullen might have. <laughs> there we go, get purified. Easy purification. Oh, we get a flame keep Dawson! Oh shit, that's the best one. That's a funny named item. Ain't that cool? Little, little neat, little secret lever on the not in a mission. Oh, we're over here now. And now we get to confront the Pope because it was actually him. He was the bad guy the whole time. And I know this mission says level six, but we're just going to pop in there and do it real quick because it takes like 10 seconds. I don't feel like coming back here. And honestly, it's a, little, it's a little bit out of the way. And it's okay to do missions higher than you. Like, that's not like an issue. It doesn't like cause you any memes or anything. It's basically killing this one guy. He seems to have an inkling of the grim tidings you bring. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna cast a couple of a couple of funny spells real quick and do a little, another one right here. We'll do like one of these ones here. We'll do like um, I don't know, we'll give us an acid meme right now. Why not? Just get them all in. Oh, we, we forgot to cast jump on ourselves. It's the best one. Alright, Dryden, and I'm sick of you. Prepare to die. Uh, he told me, what are you looking at? Oh yeah, and then he's a ghost the whole time. Oh shit. Yeah, so it's just like a mini fight like that. Yeah, it really isn't. Oh, wooden prayer beads! We can cast Bless a few times. This is actually better than what I have on me right now. The healing amplification is pretty good. I am gonna use these. <laughs> I am gonna get these funny beads. Thank you, Archbishop Brighton. Oh, you're so sad. What a good guy. What a great guy. Top lad. Let's get out of here. And that's it. That's the whole Delaria's Tomb Catacomb storyline all done. And we're well ready for level 6, but there is one more mission I think we have to do before getting to that one. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that next time. I'll show you a little capstone off. But, like, look at this guy. This friar. I'm not concerned about oh, that. Get a meme. Uh, I don't know. The sword. They're all kind of dog shit. Alright. Well, 
I'll see you guys next time. It's been good. Like and subscribe if it was helpful. If you're like following along, that'll be pretty cool. If you're like, oh, that, that's where those missions are. That's like a good way to get favor, and that, that'd be good. Get, drop a drop a good subscribe. Grab a good like if you're feeling so inclined. And yeah, don't don't do say bad words in public. Goodbye.